Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about something significant happening around the entire crypto market. So this is a big warning to anybody out there that has their money over on FTX. Um, I highly advise you all to start moving funds out of FTX or any major crypto exchange. Like, listen, this is exactly why I constantly say I utilize these exchanges as an on and off ramp quickly. I invest my money into a token that I want to buy and then I quickly withdraw it over to cold storage. What do you see over here from... Uh, you know, if you guys don't know who uh, Ron is or Ran, um, he is one of the largest influencers out there in crypto. A lot of people have their disagreements on him. He has about 645k over on Twitter, uh, but we do see it's probably all going to be okay. But just in case it isn't, get your money off of FTX ASAP. We know how quickly these things collapse. Now, if FTX is going to collapse, I just want you guys to understand that this is a very, very large exchange. In fact, it is the number two largest exchange uh, in crypto, currently sitting at about almost $1.4 billion in 24-hour volume. They have about 2.3 million weekly visits. I'm not saying that this is going to collapse. I'm just saying if this does, uh, then things are going to look pretty rough. I know FTX right now, it was in the top 10 at one point in time. Looks like it has started to drop down on the list, but FTT, aka the FTX token, is sitting at number 25, and it's down about 4% today, 11.45% on the seven-day span. Uh, we could see that the trading volume is up about 457%, but this is because people are selling out. They are moving tokens, and you could really kind of see it starting to happen um, earlier today at around roughly 6.30 a.m. That's when things started to kind of pick up, and then it really picked up around like almost 10 a.m. today uh, with a massive collapse that kind of continued throughout the day. Now, let's look into a few things happening around FTX as well as the FTT token, um, and let's talk about a few things. So first off, I said over on Twitter, I made a little bit of a joke. I said, deploying more capital steady lads, I'm getting a bad case of deja vu. What do you see over here? Um, Alameda uh, Research is sending stablecoins to FTX official in size. Just 15 minutes ago, they received 56 million USDC from Circle and then deposited it on FTX. Within the last 24 hours, they have sent a total of 257 million dollars worth. Uh, meanwhile, the stablecoin outflow from FTX is the largest among all exchanges in the last seven days, down about negative 300 million dollars to a balance of 261 million, excluding FTX. US. If we exclude the inflow from Alameda, I'm sure the number would get much uglier. And then we do see down here adding $55 million in USDC and BUSD in the last one hour plus 417,000 FTT worth about 9.3 million. And you can see all of this documented here uh, from the data underscore nerd. But uh, yeah, here you guys have a lot of the inflows from Circle. Um, and this is with Alameda Research as well. Very interesting. Very large amounts as well. Again, we've seen this in the past. Um, I said it was deja vu because we've seen this with not only Luna, um, but we've seen it with other tokens and other exchanges. I mean, Celsius was the biggest one that we really kind of seen. Voyager was next. And now it looks like FTX very well could be the next one. I uh, would you see over here as well, FTX's stablecoin reserve just reached a year low, $51 million as of now, not, down 93% over the last two weeks. Look at this. This is crazy. Their reserves are plummeting. And I've been seeing a lot of rumors about it being insolvent. We don't know. I mean, listen, we honestly do not know. I don't take these things lightly. Uh, we do see FTX hourly withdrawals for Ethereum just hit an all-time high. Uh, you could see that as well. And then um, over here, we do see FTT token reserve across all exchanges reach an all-time high. 60% of the circulating supply is in the exchanges. And here you guys have it as well. Uh, so things are picking up. And all of this really kind of started uh, from a few things that kind of came out around Twitter. Uh, the number one was CZ from Binance. As part of Binance's exit from FTX equity last year, Binance received roughly $2.1 billion equivalent in cash, BUSD, and FTT due to recent uh, re uh, revelations sorry, that have came to light. We have decided to liquidate any remaining FTT on our books. Now, this was very interesting because this came out around 10.47 a.m. Uh, yesterday, and everything from there unfolded. That's why you do see a lot of the negative volume on FTT as a token starting at around 10 a.m. Like here is 9.45 a.m. 
They started liquidating and it just continued from there and it's continuously plummeting. I mean, this looks pretty rough to me. Now, we do see, uh, we will try to do uh, so in a way that minimizes market impact due to market conditions and limited liquidity. We expect this will take a few months to complete. Uh, Binance always encourages collaboration between industry players regarding any speculation as to whether this is a move against a competitor. It is not. Our industry is in its nascency, and every time a project publicly fails, it hurts every user and every platform. We typically hold tokens for a long term, and we have held on to this token for this long. We stay transparent with our actions, and uh, it's very interesting to see this coming from CZ, and then we do see over here as well. Uh, check out FTX wallets, money leaving and masses, only out transactions. This is this is actually crazy. I mean, like, look at this. And this is not like small quantities at all. Like this is in Ethereum, by the way, just so that you guys know. Um, then we have over here as well. I mean, like this is massive amounts of money getting withdrawn. Because again, this is in Ethereum. So you're looking at 9,600 plus Ethereum, 63,000, 10,000, 20,000. I mean, this is significant. Um, and then over here, we also have more and even more. And uh, this is happening at a very, very fast pace. Um, I think recently we just did a video warning about FTX and Sam Bankman fried um, We don't know if this is going to collapse, but if this does, prepare. Because I even said uh, before the weekend, I said, don't get too comfortable with the price action that we are seeing in this market. Black Swan events like this happen all the time in crypto, um, but FTX collapsing would be something that we wouldn't want to actually see. It's like very equivalent to Coinbase collapsing, or I shouldn't say Binance, because Binance is like a, a giant in this space. You do see the volume difference here, but it's still the fact that like FTX is number two on the list. They have a very large amount of... Uh, we could actually check some of their holdings here. So their number one market is Solana. And you could see this through volume. So most of their volume is in Ethereum, actually. So $300 million in Ethereum, about $236 million in Tether, $208 million in Bitcoin, $115 million in FTT. And then Solana is number uh, five on the list. XRP is down on the list, only about $28.2 million. So nothing too, too crazy there. Um, but yeah, this is uh, pretty significant. I do think that this would cause a little bit of a crash in the market. So we are hoping that this does not happen. But we also do see over here from CZ, liquidating our FTT is just post-exit risk management learning from Luna. We gave support before, but we won't pretend to make love after divorce. We are not against anyone, but we won't support people who lobby against our industry players behind their backs onward. So this was uh, very interesting. Um, Again, there was, there was so much coming out at once. And by the way, for anybody who is a little bit confused on how FTX and FTT work, well, here is how everything works behind the scenes. Very similar to Luna, by the way. So we see FTX prints FTT out of thin air. FTX lends FTT to Alameda Research. Alameda Research borrows USD stables against FTT. Alameda Research sends USD uh, stables to FTX. Repeat equals infinite money. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this was basically the same exact thing that happened with Luna. I mean, we've seen what was happening with USD uh, T at the, or not USD T at the time, but uh, Terra Luna uh, USD at the time. And again, you could see the scheme happening before our eyes. And it is a very, very concerning thing because this will cause a significant, uh, a significant collapse of not only the exchange, but also the tokens um, that are assigned to it or even connected to it as well. And you can see that this is escalating uh, because Binance has liquidated their FTT uh, supply. And I, I do think that this is only going to get worse from here if this is the case. And if this does collapse, it's going to also leak into the entire industry. So with all that in mind, let's go over here to what SBF Sam Bankman fried was saying. So he said... A huge thank you to everyone who has supported us. We're excited to keep climbing together and especially to those who stay level-headed during crazy times. We deeply appreciate it. Then he went on to uh, talk about, you know, how these are just rumors and how FTX keeps audit finances, etc. And though it slows us down sometimes on product, we're highly regulated. So 
I mean, it's very interesting. I mean, again, we don't know if they're going to collapse, but to me, it is a warning sign. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I highly suggest getting all assets off of all exchanges, every single exchange. I don't care if it's Binance. I don't care if it's Coinbase. Get your crypto off of these exchanges. We even do see over here from Kobe. If you guys don't know who Kobe is, highly suggest go check him out. Um, but we do see all exchanges should have transparent proof of reserves with transparent dashboards linking to on-chain data slash wallets. Find it very difficult to believe FTX is insolvent, but having to trust some tweets is not good when downside is possibly you lose everything. Laugh out loud. And uh, probably impossible to audit extremity or sorry, externally. I don't know why I thought it was extremity. Um, externally, the client deposits, but surely a lot of this panic goes away if there's a dashboard that says FTX USDC, uh, cold wallet, blah, 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 with a signed message proving the address is owned by the exchange. Too many times the exchange strategy is, trust me, bro, surely we can do a little bit better than that. Until then, not your keys, not your coins, etc., etc. And exactly, like, listen, <clears throat> this is why I say we need to stop looking at the idea of like okay well this exchange is too big to fail right no all of these exchanges no matter how you look at it if your coins are left on there it's not your keys they're not your coins and when they go down so do your coins voyager has been a perfect example of this celsius has been a perfect example of this please do not trust these exchanges and we also do see over here from johnny deaton <clears throat> he's adding that you know he predicted that an exchange will be sued at some point in time by the sec uh, we do see one thing i've learned is that when a group of entrepreneurs or a platform get the you know here well the ear of uh, a regulator basically the ward um they often point the finger at another set of entrepreneurs or platforms to serve as the regulatory uh, sacrificial lamb uh, it will be interesting to see if a platform gets sued soon. Um, I predicted six months ago that an exchange or two would get sued by the SEC by the end of the year. Something is in the air between CZ, CZ Binance and Sam Bigman fried uh, If I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to admit it, but something is afoot. And I do completely agree. What do you see over here? Justin, Binance CEO, says the company will liquidate its $500 million of FTX position because they won't support people who lobby against other industry players behind their back. So... Again, um, we don't know what's going to happen here. If we have another Luna on our hands, just to give you guys a quick insight on that, um, we can go over to TradingView real quick, and I can just give you guys a quick insight on what happened in the entire industry when we did see Luna collapse. So here is the total. <clears throat> now, during May is when Luna collapsed. Um, and you can see what happened during that time. Now, I'm not saying that we are going to collapse again, but I'm just saying prepare for anything to happen here because nobody knows what's going to happen next. We don't know if FTX is insolvent. We don't know what's going on, but surely if we even come down to test this FIB level, this would be about a 15% drop. There's a lot of panic in the air. <clears throat> Do I trust it? We don't know. We can't... We, we can't speak on it. We don't know what's going on behind the closed doors. All we know is that transactions are piling up. We have the proof of these transactions. There's a ton of money being moved around in masses that are moving out of FTX. I highly suggest everybody to do so as well to protect themselves and protect their assets. Again, not your crypto, right? <laughs> not your coins. Uh, so, well, not your keys, not your crypto. Uh, so definitely stay tuned to what happens with this entire situation for the most part do we believe that ftx is insolvent i highly doubt it but we need to make sure that we are protecting ourselves if we have any money on these exchanges this is the number two largest exchange in the game if it does go down most of the market will get uh, hurt but is it going to cause a, a full-on collapse and everything's going to go down to you know xyz not necessarily, but we will definitely feel the after effects of this. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, do definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. Uh, so it's up to you all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Wherever you guys are on this beautiful world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.